Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 32 of Direwolf20 Survival Day Series. I'm hanging out with Soren. How are you, Soren? Good. Alright, buddy. You're in charge. What's on the agenda for today? I think we need to continue Blood Magic. <gasps> okay, you're the boss. Boss. Uh, I upgraded our altar, and it's like smoking fast right now. Nice. Yeah, like smoking fast. So that's a really? thing. Yeah, like... Like, we're actually producing LP as fast as we're using it with regards to making things like reinforced slates. So it's just continuously running. Like, there's no delay. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Because I just put Runes of Sacrifice all around that last tier that we've upgraded to. But speaking of tiers, I think we could do uh, the next tier. Ooh, really? Uh, really, really. Uh, I just have to figure out how to do the next tier. Uh, so there's two more left, actually. There's five and six. So we're currently at tier four. But I want to get to tier six, and I might want to look at the Omega armor. Because Omega armor sounds cool to me, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe. Like, doesn't chat it sound was cool? telling me I should get that. Huh? My chat was telling me I should get that. I'm not really sure what it is. Yeah. Um. So the last tier has to be... About two blocks in between. So I guess what I'll do is something like this. And then the sandstone. We should get a sound muffler for down there, but. I just turned down the mob sounds. Did you? Yep, so I can still hear the block placement sounds. We need to ask Tama if we can actually have that kind of GUI in the sound muffler so we don't turn off all the sounds with that sound muffler. Oh, that's an awesome idea, make it so. <laughs> I like block placement sounds. Yeah, no, I like that idea. If the sound muffler could have a GUI. I do too. Like, it drives me nuts when, like, I don't hear myself, like, breaking or placing blocks. I'm like, yeah. what's wrong? What's like, broken? Did I do it? <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'm mapping out where the next altar is going to be. I'm trying to figure out what runes I want to have on here, though. So, okay. bad news, buddy. We're going to have to move the uh, terminal we've got set up. That's not bad news. <laughs> bad news would be we have to move the altar. Oh, no, the altar's fine. Ah, uh, we just need some runes. So, what do we got by way of runes? 32. That might be enough. No, it's not. We need more than that. Thank you, buddy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, right. Come on, shift click. React. There we go. Um, I'm also thinking maybe some more speed runes. Then we can kind of decide amongst ourselves what we want there. Yeah, we'll just do the whole stack, why not? Boy, that's taking a while. Uh, 
that should do. All right, so uh, this thing should be cruising, doing a pretty good job. Let's get, you know what we're gonna need, Soren, is four beacons. Beacons, okay. Correct. So it's one beyond that, I believe. Pretty sure this is how it maps out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it four? What's that? You said four? Four beacons, yes. Should be good and then the beacons sit on top so we'll probably want like blocks of gold or iron or something that can function as a beacon base did you throw beacons at me no okay good because it looked like you came over to throw something at me but I didn't get anything. <laughs> My pickaxe does something very weird, and I don't know what it is. Like it breaks it instantly at times? Yes. I don't know what's causing that, but it's been annoying me. Okay, so it's not just me? <laughs> no. Something is fiddling around with things that really shouldn't be. <laughs> Without telling the player. Like, it's just, I'm going to make things better. What is happening to this zombie down here? He's warding. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, it's a warded zombie? Yeah, I mean, he'll die over time, but he has a shield. That is cool. I thought that sound was coming from inside my house. I'm like, what is going on in my house that, like, the <laughs> Jedi are here? This is new air conditioner, didn't we tell you? <laughs> I could have sworn, like, the Jedi were coming. I'm like, what is happening at this moment in my house? This is not the block you were looking for. Clearly. Uh, all right, beacons ready? They are ready for you. Sweet. Where are they? Uh, call stairs. Like right here. On the platform. Four Yay, stacks of beacons. beacons. Not four stacks. Come here. Oh! <laughs> Details. All right, if I did that right, we have a tier five altar. Yay. Look how much faster it's crafting. Nice. You ready? Oh, wow. Right? Okay, watch faster. Just a bit. Yeah, it doesn't start crafting till like right here. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a second after the block goes in for it to start working. Which at this point is actually like the slowdown. <laughs> um, so I used a bunch of runes of sacrifice and uh, more speed runes, as you can see around the altar. So basically speed runes equal faster and sacrifice equals things. Um, so that's a fifth tier. That's cool. Uh, we do need, if we want to get the fifth tier blood orb, because um, currently we have what, the fourth tier? You have a fourth tier. I don't think I have a fourth tier yet. Right? Yeah. That's, that's one that was the shard. It's the yellow one. So if we want a fifth tier, we're going to have to summon a demon. Okay. Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need two things for the most part. We're going to need um, some summoning things and some other things. Let me see. Uh, we want to do the alchemy section of, but it's pretty easy amounts of alchemy that we need. 
Okay. We could do a ritual to automate it, but I don't know that we need to. So we're going to want alchemic chemistry set. And while I'm making this, do you want to get some things? Okay, we're going to we'll need um, six arcane pedestals and one arcane plinth, which I will warn you, the crafting recipe for an arcane plinth requires a pedestal. So make seven pedestals and then use one of them to make a plinth. Groovy? Okay. And then, uh, let's see, elementals, that's what we want to fight. So, do you want to fight air, fire, water, earth, light or dark? Which of those six would you prefer to fight? I have no idea. <laughs> Um, um, chat, what do you think? <laughs> Go ahead, Soren's chat. Choose his doom. You know you're just going to get like a thousand different answers, right? Absolutely. Do you want me to just pick for you? Uh, we'll see. I trust my chat. A lot of them are actually saying air. Well, air is probably the easiest. Oh, okay. Earth is the easiest, it says Shiny. I think that's... Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. That's the one that has a lot of health, doesn't it? I mean, it might. I don't know. I think I remember these. We'll just do air. Air? Yeah. All right, you're the boss, boss. So aether it is. Um, so that is two feathers, glowstone, and gas tier. How many punts do we need? The normal ones outside of the arcane. Uh, what was the question? Oh, uh, six plinths. Well, like the one, the one that requires iron blocks. One of those. The ones that require obsidian. We need six of them. Beautiful. Perfect. This is probably crafting, so I can borrow you for a minute. Sweet. Um, and then there's a very specific way that they have to be placed in the world. So I don't know if you want to build a platform for them or what. Uh, you do a platform. Do you want me to build it for you real quick? Because I have the thingy and I'm waiting sure. for stuff to craft anyway. Build it off towards north. Yeah, the direction you're Okay. That should be cool. All right, little platform for you over there. So we've almost got all the aether we need. Uh, I'm ready, are you ready? I need to get one more, where would my orb go? Oh, I have it, I'll put it back in the chest for you.
Well, you never made me a tier four orb because you're not a nice guy, so. <laughs> this is true. Um, doesn't have EMC, dang. I would be surprised if it did. So let's see, X plus two and X minus two. I think that's how it has to be, I think. I'm always terrible at placing these pedestals because the screenshot he has on his form thread is like really hard to see the relative positions because he placed them on grass and the textures blend together. <laughs> right. Like he didn't put on a block that's really easy to see like how many blocks away they are. So like from the angle he took the picture too, it's like, I can't tell if that's one or two, but I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be um, X plus two and x minus 2, and then x plus 1, z minus 2, and then that, and then that, and that. All right, so that should be good. So go ahead and put the um, expensive one in the middle and replace the other ones with the cheaper ones. And hopefully I did it right. Since we made a hexagon, cool. And do you have your orb? On me, yeah. And does your sword have um, fortune on it? No. Do you have a sword with fortune on it? Not that I know of. Really? No, I never need one. We put down a magnum torch and never needed a sword. I guess you're right. Um, well, Fortune would help right now, but um, do you have a um, do you have any kind of sword from like Tinkers that has modifiers available on it? I think we were going to build one, but we never did. Really? Mm -hmm. I have a manual and broadsword, but it's kind of blah. But it doesn't have any modifiers available on it. I wonder if I can add modifiers. Nether yeah, star and the uh, diamond gold block thing. I think that's disabled with this one, though. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I, I do have a sword. With looting? Um, let's see here. Disarming three, vampirism two, sharpness five, wrath five, educational five, I don't even know. Binding two, unbreaking three, so no looting, but we could probably add that with, um, Endel. Yeah. Do we have a looting book? All right, guys, uh, we're going to come back while we track down a looting book because this will help us a lot. All right, guys, we are back. Soren, you got a sword with looting on it? I will in a moment. Come on, dude. Stop taking so long. I don't want to do the bounce sword right now because we don't have experience uh, the uh, bookshelves around it. What? 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 What are you talking about? Bookshelves experience. What? We're good. We're good. I'm going. Are you sure? The, the enchanting table doesn't have books around or bookshelves around it, so we can't do a good enchant and then add on enchantments for the sword. So I'll okay. hold off for bounding blade. All right. You're giving me a heart attack, but uh, put your aether <laughs> on the six pedestals around the edge. And then put your orb in the center. Ah! Things are happening. You're probably going to want to be flying for this. Do you have a magnet, by the way, of some form? No, I do not. Oh, well, that's not good. 
It's about to come over the void, I guess. Pretty much. He doesn't do any damage, does he? Well, you know what? He flings you up in the air, so having flight makes this fight a little trippy. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish him off. And I'll be underneath to catch anything he drops. There he is. There he is. Got it. Woot. Nice. So, uh, let's see. So I got the Demon Blood Shard, which for 75,000 LP in the Blood Altar, we can uh, convert to a Tier 5 Orb. So I think what we should do is come back in a minute once... This thing's actually almost done with its reinforced slates. So let's uh, come back in a minute and then we'll get ready to do that. Cool. All right, buddy, come here. I got something for you. Ah. Replace some of the speed runes outside the edge of the altar with some of those. I would say the outer edge would okay. be easier. No! Well, okay, I guess, if you want. Why are you doing it weird like that? We have 10. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give you more in a minute. Like, replace an entire row. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> See, I didn't have that knowledge. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. <laughs> if you give me 10 and tell me they replace the entire thing, it's like, just go with it. It's like, okay. <laughs> just figure it out, Soren. Go! Oh, oh, here it is. Stop being weird. Just figure it out. That's hard for me. Clearly. Okay. So check the altar now. 30,000. Oh, okay. Yeah, instead of 10,000, that's 30,000. So we'll swap that back in a bit, because I don't think we really need that much capacity. Um, except for when we make this. So I'm going to swap a few out. The goal is to get it like close-ish to 75,000. Okay. Sorry. Hmm? The uh, add focus that Forge is using is broken at the moment. Do you think you can help me out and put your version of Forge somewhere? Uh, I was using multi MC. Uh, give me a second if, I, if it even lets me have it. I might have it. Uh, we'll be back in a minute, guys. Okay, Zorin. I've uh, made all the runes of augmented capacity, filled this thing up, did all the things, and I've got us up to close enough, 72,000 LP. So I'm going to put this demon blood shard in here. Get it charged up. Oh, oh it's going down. Oh, yeah, it's going to go down. But I'm going to keep filling it up. Because we were at 72,000, so I really need to give it 3,000 more, and it should be fine. That should be, like, more than enough, to be honest with you. And then I'll probably remove those runes and put it back to speed and sacrifice. Do you have those runes that you broke, by the way? If you can toss them my way, that would be cool. Oh, there you go. Yay, you can have it. You're Remember sure? to right-click it to bind yourself. Yeah, I mean, we can always make another one later. I pulled it out, and the thing was instantly full. Cool. All right, uh, we'll be back in a minute, guys. Let me rebuild the altar. All right, we're back, guys. Uh, so, Rorax, is it you who opened the demon portal in the Digger Age? I did, I did. Nice. Did you um, also open a portal to, like, a rain cloud in the desert? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I have... <laughs> It was cool, too, because, like, the day that I went to do the demon portal, it was raining in Digger, and I was like, this is the perfect weather for opening a demon portal. Wait, it shouldn't be raining in Digger. <laughs> yeah, not only it's, like, it's a desert, and I don't know. But Digger's all kinds of weird, because books broke, and, like, I needed to make a new book. Do we have some very powerful weapons, Soren? I forget. I'm using one right now, but it did 20 hit to them. Yeah. Yeah, well, my this sword's doing less. My sword is an attack damage of, like, nine. So you're probably better than me. But we need um, we need to make four crystal clusters. 
And for each of those, we need five of the red shards and four of the blue. So in total, okay. we're going to need 16 blue and 20 red. You can need a blue and crystal red cluster. Three. Do we need five for the altar? Or is that for the orb then? The orb is the fifth. Okay, cool. Soren, I found Iridium Ward. Does that help you? That has... No. Okay. Then fine, I'm not giving it to you. Okay. You put it in the A system, I'll get it later. <laughs> no, I left it in the chest. I found some music. Discs. Okay, good. Ooh, that was dope. Ow, I don't even know. I can learn it with EMC. Actually, there are not a lot of demons easy. in this demon invasion. I've noticed. I killed two. Oh, I got plus one modifier on my sword now. Like, five minutes after I needed it. I no longer need it. Yeah, I killed one demon, and uh, thus far I am demonless. One shard of each. <laughs> That's better than me. Uh, <laughs> YouTube, I guess we'll be back when we get more shards. Alright guys, we're back. Soren, how are you making out over there? I decided to get a safari net. Oh, you're going to spawn the demons in? I'm going to spawn the demons, because I have ten of each, and this is slow. Waiting for them to spawn. Fair enough. Um, you can probably replace the wither skeleton thingies that I have set up down in our old yeah. base. Yeah. Um, we don't need any more. Pretty much, yeah. That's true. Um, I am preparing for where the blood altar is going to be. I've never built an altar of this appropriate size, but um, I'm going to prepare it as much as I can. For now, I'm just going to throw some whatever runes we have laying around in there. So, from what I understand... Uh, we need 19 on each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, ah. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Is this correct? I think it goes one past the beacon. Yeah, it lines up with the uh, gold. So that's cool. And then one, two, and this has to go one above the red things, I think. That looks about right. Hey, Dyer, are you recording right now? I am. Should I not be? Uh, you don't have to be, but just let me know when you're done. I want to show you something <laughs> just to <laughs> clarify. Okay. Is there a problem? I think I figured out what the lag might be from the FPS earlier in our old base. Oh? Oh! <laughs> I... We can turn it on and off, I can tell you that. What did you do? It's what you did on, we know. Nope, I disagree. I didn't do things. I okay, have to so come see this lever? now. What is the lever that's hooked up to... Right next to the dark ethereal glass on the left side do? Uh, I'd have to come look. Okay, that's fine. You can give a look. You want me to come look? Yeah. Because I'm more curious right now. Yes, this lever controls the universe. Got it. Got it. Understood. I'm a coming. That lever right there? Yeah. That should turn on and off the mob spawner. Okay. Come over here and get like an average of your FPS and just flick it on. Wow. What the heck did you do? Uh, let's see. What did you hook that up to? Oh. I don't remember doing this. I don't play with these cables at all after I was told not to. <laughs> 
What cables? Oh, uh, well, the combination of wire and conduit. Well, I have red alloy wire from Blue Power going into um, the insulated redstone conduit from Ender.io. As far as I remember, according to player, uh, redstone conduit is buggy at the moment. I don't know. Maybe the conduit. culprit. Uh. Mm. All right, we're right back. Guys. I finished building turn? this altar out. Um, well, maybe not. I'm just gonna. I can probably just do it now. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna need more runes. Here, Rex. Come over here and put the lever up to you. Check your like. Get an average of FPS. I'm not crazy, at least. I was concerned at first. I was like, oh yeah, no, my FPS definitely dropped. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's like 80%. Yeah. Hmm, so maybe I should wait for the... Nope, nope, I, I'm using it. I'm using it. <laughs> Why not? Goodbye, FPS. It's worth it. To be honest, it's probably a combination of all the mods here. It's just everything that's going on. Yeah, uh, it's, it's probably an interaction thing, for sure. I need to probably get a gate that goes one way, a uh, buffer gate, and then put that into the conduit. All right, so I think down. I have a tier six altar ready. Oh, do you? Yeah. Uh, I just I just need your uh, crystal cluster things. Have you have you done the things? Uh, I took the wrong book. In fact, I have ten of each still. Ten of each still? More. What have you been doing this whole time? I built an entire tier six altar. To, what are you doing? I, uh, I've been trying to get the, the spawner, and you, it was your system that and frame rates and that. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, mom, what taking so long? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm back. <laughs> That's very clear. Like, I don't even <laughs> like. Ice demon hunt guardian. Okay, cool. I'm waiting on one to spawn so I can capture it and then put others into other three. Okay, that sounds cool. Oh wow, this thing is flickering like craziness. Have you noticed that this alloy wire is flickering like craziness? I found the problem! Oh, maybe it's blue power. Well, part of it is it doesn't handle... Let's see. Emma was telling me that it doesn't go backwards. So, like, if I put one cable on a block and on the other side put another cable, it should power on just to prevent this kind of thing, but it might not be able to handle this. So we need a buffer gate. I was just gonna break it and run wire the whole way. Okay, that worked. Right? It has yet to be updated on the server, so whatever we test here is not what he has, unfortunately. I need we'll a little up. bit more insulated redstone. What was that a request? We're going to be caught up by um, next server anyway, so we can try it then. Yeah, um, I'm waiting for the end of the, the, the ICs and your great circuits. Can't wait to get them. Actually, I think we have a version of Blue Power in our mods list if you check it out. It's kind of funny. Insulated redstone conduit. It's crafting now. Is it? You're making the alloy smelter cook? Yeah. Cool. Alright, then we should be cool. Right, does the frame rate drop like crazy now? No, not really. Okay. 
And we'll turn this off, which means that you should now have your idle timer dropping. We have zero essence, that's the problem. Yeah, we have to turn that. Oh, just. <laughs> I'll stay over here. I know. No, we're good. We're good. Go ahead and turn it down. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Rex. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Um, yeah. yeah. Can you open that interface to your left? And see if there's actually mob essence allocated. The grinder? It. Uh, there should be oh, mob essence. I already saw it going up in there. Okay. Unless you broke my system with all your rewiring that yeah. you do. No, it, the um, interface actually lost its configuration at one point. So I was trying like, to. Like, Rorax, look how many once. like different colored cables are running through here right now. I know, it's silly. Like. It's pretty. Like, this it's is somehow, this according is to Soren, not dire wire. This is somehow better was... than what I had. It was no, this is a mess. Right? This is just like... what you did you see it before. Cables. You did not see it before. <laughs> like, you are almost I out of colors. I did see it before, actually. I watched Aya's videos. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Rorax. Rorax, who is literally the authoritative on what looks good in Minecraft, has I stated that it. your wiring looks terrible. Did it say terrible? Did a mess? Soren chat, you know what to do. Dire wire bad. Let's go. Sword and wire. <laughs> nope. Dire sword wire, and wire. Sword Let's go. Just... I want to see sword dire and wire, wire trending over dire wire when this video goes live. Dire on YouTube. wire. No, it's, dire wire's not going to be trending on Oh, that's way around. Sword, sword and wire. wire. Is trend over dire wire. Rorax agrees. Rorax approved. Dire right. wire. I know dire wire is bad. Dire. Blame dire. Dire wire is bad. Rip chat. One two three. One two three. <laughs> <laughs> Let me break this one, down two, for you guys. Dire wire, Storm wire is good. Storm dire wire, wire is, better. is ugly, but works. Yes. Soren wire is dire wire trying to be pretty, but doesn't manage. We, it's more straight lines rather than overlapping each other, just bundled together, always spiraling across. Fire wire bad. Dire wire bad. So basically, Soren Wire is Dire Wire that adheres to adjacency rules. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, there's a Pahamar skeleton. a straight line. You did... Wait, this was not a straight line on the... This went through things. This wire here. Yeah, it worked, though. Oh, our uh, grinder's out of energy. What'd you do now, Soren? It works on his videos. <laughs> it does our grinder out of energy, me, actually. Uh, you need to put... I was trying to access the interface with my yellow wrench, and I think I might have hit the power. Oh, yeah, you're fine. There we go, that should fix it. You might be fine. We'll find yep, it. we're good now. Okay, Essence going in. Yep, it's all good. Blame Zorin, he broke it. I... No! Oh, it's a terrible fuel that we used to make You should it. be getting lots of things happening now, Zorin. He went into the wall at first. Yeah. That's cool. Yep. That's weird. I don't know how that happens, but it happened. All right. I have to wrap up my episode. It's running, like, super long now. So, um, <laughs> Soren, your homework is to make our altar tier six. It's pretty much like you just put the crystal clusters on top of the pillars, and then you're done. Like, that should be all you need to do. And if you We're want to... Super um, anticlimactic. I know. If you want to... Uh, be extra cool, you can replace the runes that are around it with something more useful. I just put what runes we had available at the time. Cool? All right. All right, and then next episode, we will figure out, um, you know, what we're gonna do with the tier six altar. Probably break things. I'm thinking I wanna try the Omega armor system. Have you tried that yet, Rorax? Yeah. Is it good or hard? You don't sound thrilled. It bad. is. It looks really, very really, tedious. really disappointing. Was it? For the amount of work that goes into it, you're like, this is going to be hype. But then once you actually get it to work, you're just like, mm, nope. <laughs> See, right now? I was the, reading I'm... it and I was considering that. That looked like that. Because it does look like there's a lot of hype and a lot of nope. The timer is the biggest issue. Yeah. Because like the Omega armor only lasts for like five minutes, right? Yep. Yeah, it's a very okay, short It's just not doing work down there. If you make the biggest um power chamber you can for using the armor 
You only yes. get a boost of two minutes. Okay. Stand back, Soren. Soren, stand back. Are you watching? Oh, the grinder? Yes. Does it hurt players too? No, it shouldn't. Why are you telling me to stand back? I don't know, so that the mobs don't hit you. <laughs> I was in the Strangely, room, the grinder doesn't seem to be working, though. We're actually turning it on. Weird. All right, we are, like, super ready to wrap up. So, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time with a Tier 6 altar. Take it easy, guys.